and it needs to be automated, right? It needs to be automated. Like you need to treat your ten percent of what you make and invest in it in mutual funds, or you know, at least mutual funds. I would say um, you need to treat it like a bill. You need to treat it just like a bill. Okay, boom. I gotta pay my bill. Uh, I don't know if I can have steak this month. I might have to have to eat rice and beans this month. But uh, if the 10 percent is going to put me in the rice and bean market or the steak market, it just depends. But you should take 10 percent of everything you make and you have to be invested 10 percent of what you make. Some of us, that may mean cutting your lifestyle down right from this grandiose lifestyle to, you know, a lifestyle down here, because there's nobody going to be uh, waiting for you to help you when you get elderly. Um, and it's not your kids' responsibilities to do that. That's not their responsibility. It's our responsibility. We're working people. Revenue share opportunity. You have that here. You also have stock here at this company. Uh, hopefully, you guys are taking you know a percentage of your your closings and investing it in stock. Like this is a company that's kind of like on the ground floor that's getting you know moving up the ladder. I mean, I wouldn't put a hundred percent of my money in any company, right? That's why I like mutual funds. That's in it. The, that's focused on the S&P 500 index, okay? Make sure you pay attention to stuff like that. And then income from social media. We had a couple of weeks ago, we had Melissa come on here. Melissa told her story, how she started off with nothing. She was living with her brother. She was renting cars. She couldn't even afford to have a car. And now she makes $10,000 a month. It's even more now. I talked to her a couple of weeks ago, right? Uh, we, we, we walked you through that training, right? So we've given you how, the what and the how, and then whatever entrepreneurial endeavors that you all have, we all have a gift and we just need to learn how to monetize our gift. Very simple, right? If you don't know how to do it, why don't you just follow the training that Melissa did, right? I, I brought, I helped Melissa get over her confidence to get to that point where she now is just got packages showing up to her door every day now. She's always texting me now. And, and now she's doing, you know, basically online commercials for Starbucks and all these other companies. Like she's nobody special. I'm nobody special. All she did was take action. And she goes from renting cars, living with family members with her three children to now she's the she's the person with the bag versus trying to get help from people with the bag. So I, I love that story. Right. So that the what I, I write down your ideal life. Writing down is not put it in your phone. That's not writing it down. Writing down is with paper and pencil, right? Paper and a pen. That's not writing down. Because you, you know what? You got We got a million things in our phone and we're not taking action on any of it. And so putting more notes in our phone, we don't need a, the new iPhone 15 is coming out and I see it has a terabyte of storage. I'm like, wow, a terabyte. You could run a, 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 a Fortune 500 company off of this phone with a terabyte worth of data. That's that's an enormous amount of data. So I want you guys to just get back to, you know, when you were young kids and, you know, you, you grew up and said, hey, when I grow up, I want to be. When I grow up, I want to be. And all I can tell you is my, I mentally stay in that mindset at my age, 56, like I, I I, I can do and be whatever I want to be. I can start the day and be, I can do whatever I want to do because the what, once I write it down, that that forces me to kind of work towards it. Remember, when you write it down, wherever your focus goes, your energy flows, right? It's just most of us don't have anything written down. Most of us don't have the list of what they're supposed to do today and the list of what they're supposed to do today should all be income producing activities. Most of us don't have that list on their desk right now of all their income producing activities, like something like this. You don't have this on your desk, right? Income producing activities that have to get done today because I could die tomorrow, right? Today, 